The world of Cassette Beasts is a fantastical one, where monsters from the ambiguous zeitgeist take shape, and where you can take their shape in kind. But what about actual magic, conjuring something out of nothing, with a rule set backing it up? You can do just that with a technique I call tape superimposition. Tape superimposition is an interesting state that occurs when Change the Record swaps to a monster that you have already selected to swap in with a different monster. To trigger it, you need to use three moves together. Custom Starter, Change the Record, and Machine Curse. The requirements for getting into the state are pretty strict. It only works in Ranger battles, and you have to trigger it during the Switch Monsters phase, meaning you have to take the Switch Tapes action with both of your characters. You also need at least one monster on the field to have Machine Curse at all times, which in practice means all but one of your tapes should have it. The first monster you swap to must have Custom Starter Change the Record equipped. It doesn't really matter what the second monster is, but for the sake of consistently replicating this state, it helps if it doesn't have Custom Starter Change the Record, so that it doesn't swap itself out after you get it. Change the Record will always fail if the initial target, which by default is the opponent, doesn't have any valid tapes to swap to. This is why the setup only works in Ranger Battles. We need Change the Record to switch out our own monsters, which is why we need Machine Curse to reflect it back at us. Once all of this is in place, you're ready to superimpose your tapes. Both of your party members now have the same tape equipped, and if you look at your party, you will have one more tape than you did before. This new tape is actually a virtual copy of the original. Functionally, there's still only one tape. If one monster takes damage, the other one will as well. They share health, but act independently, and status effects apply as normal. They can, however, perform fusion with each other, and behave as a standard superfusion. This allows you to effectively create health and stats from thin air, as you get all of the stats from that tape twice. You can actually see an example of this in a minor form with the move Crossfade. If you use Crossfade with your first monster, and swap out normally with your second monster, for a brief point, you'll have both characters using the same tape. You can't do anything with this version, but it's a neat proof of concept. Superimposition seems like a bug, but I honestly kind of like it in terms of the in-universe lore implications. Two people using the exact same tape, superimposed on both of them, sharing health but acting independently. What would that be like? What does it mean? What does it mean to fuse two virtual tapes together, getting a physical superfusion? It's cool and flavorful, doesn't break the game in any way, requires a lot of setup, and doesn't provide any meaningful benefit unless you have a full fusion meter. I hope this stays in the game because it's a fun thing to find, and it feels special without being overpowered. But if you do want to do something overpowered, check out what I was doing when I found this glitch. <laughs>